The main part of the video will be the 2020 Splatterween results, but before I do get into that, I just wanted to point out a couple of little things that were a little bit different this time around, and the key emphasis is on the phrase little things because they aren't really major changes, these are really minor small changes that I did notice with Splatterween in 2020 and the first thing is pretty much when you start up the game and you get to the main sort of screen the ZL and ZR option does appear and normally when you do press it you do get a sound effect and we did get a specific Halloween themed sound effect back in 2018 but this time around it was missing for some reason and I did post a clip of that on Twitter saying what happened to that sound effect and Leggings Goddess replied to me saying also have you noticed that they are using the daytime versions of the stage icons instead of their usual nighttime versions of the stage icons that they normally do in Splatfest so yeah just a couple of little things that were a little bit different this time around I'm not sure why there was no sound effect I'm guessing it was a bug and also with the stage icons as well I'm not sure what that is about but it's not really that important but just thought I would point it out and yeah did forget to talk about this in the main part of the video so yeah past me from five minutes ago we'll now talk about the Splatfest results but before I do get into that I just wanted to ask whether you were like myself did you switch teams because I was team treat back in 2018 but I did switch to team trick let me know whether you did switch or whether you did stick with the same team you did pick back in 2018 in the comment section below and yeah past me from five minutes ago take it away Splatterween is over the special Splatfest lasting two days where team trick did go up against team treat is now over the results are now in Ranked Battle is now up and open again, which I know pleases a lot of people. A lot of people aren't happy when we do get the two day Splatfest because it does mean we cannot play Ranked Battle for a couple of days. So yeah, Ranked Battle is now up and open again. The results are now in. I am showing them on screen in this video. So. Yeah, hopefully at this point in the video, the results have already aired. If not, I will just pretty much cut to the results screen. So, yeah, Team Treat did win again. This is the same result we did get back in 2018, where Treat did win as well on that occasion. So, unfortunately, we do not get to see new dialogue from Off The Hook. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we have had a situation yet where pretty much in these Splatfest reruns we haven't had a situation where the team that didn't win, the original one, went on to win the rerun. I think all of the teams that did win in their original Splatfest have won their reruns so yeah I had a lot of fun playing Splatoon 2 again like every Splatfest though the matches were really tough like I always seem to get really tough matches in Splatfest only I don't know why that is the case maybe I need to play like instead of normal sort of Splatfest matches maybe I should go into the Splatfest pro mode a little bit more because in normal you as a solo player can be matched against teams that are communicating so yeah maybe Splatfest Pro might be the way to go so yeah it will be interesting to see whether this will be the last Splatfest we will get this year or whether we will get Frosty Fest I don't think we will but it would be really cool if we did so yeah pretty much what I will do if we do get any Splatoon 2 news if we do get any Splatfest if we do get Frosty Fest at the end of the year I will keep you guys updated. I wonder if we will get more details on the Mario Splatfest as well this year. And yeah, of course, if we do, 
then I will keep you guys up to date. That is the next Splatfest that we do know of. It will be happening in January. So that's pretty much it this video. I will see you in another video soon, hopefully.